Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm going to teach you to how to use shape modes and pathfinders. Really useful tools. Um, I'll show you how it's done. Right, got to make sure, first of all, that your pathfinder window is open. So just go to window and then pathfinder or shift control F9. Never used that shortcut in my life. Anyway, so what we've got to do is go to your shape tool. This is just for a demonstration. I'll show you what to do. If you want to follow along, you can do this. Um, go to shape tool or press M on the keyboard. And we'll go to the shape tool. Right. Make sure there's a fill and a stroke to demonstrate it better. So what we're going to do is make a square here. Another one just here. A wee bit like the diagrams, actually. Makes it all easier. So the first one we're going to talk about is Unite, which is this one here. As you can see by the icon, Looks like two the two squares have welded together. Right, so it's a bit of a corral term there, but anyway, so what we're gonna do is get your selection tool or press V on the keyboard and we're going to click unite. And as you can see, what it's done is joined everything up and got rid of what was here and made it all one path. This is probably the one I use the most, along with this one. No, this one, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, it's very, very handy. We'll just name it as we go. So this one is Unite. We have it new. Right. So press M on a keyboard. We've got to learn shortcuts a lot faster. Right. So. We'll do another square. And we'll just hit I on our keyboard and and select this one. Do the same for this one. Um yeah, yeah, that just brought up the eyedropper tool. It's a nice handy shortcut. So the next one we'll do is minus front, which is this one here. As you can probably guess, it gets rid of the front. We'll do that. Select, select these two shapes and hit minus front. As you can see, the front square is gone, leaving you, you with just this path here. Pretty handy for some things. So, name this one, name this front. It's really just. Move it there. Cool. This one is minus front. Um, right. Don't know why I'm not using the shortcut. You should see I just use V there for the cool. I didn't use it there. Anyway, um, the next one would be, can you remember the name of this one? Do, 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 intersect. And this, what this one does is kind of see how it's shown up here when you go over this one. Oh, there's a square. Actually, just pointed the screen with my finger there. Um, there's a square here, this square will be the only thing left, I think. I guess what this one does, let's check out. Yes. That has, as you can tell by the diagram, what we just did, has in, um, just left us with the intersect of two shapes. We'll just undo that. Here is the intersect where the two shapes join. and it leaves you with it. Right, you get the picture. So, in this one, intersect. Yeah. 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 I can't spell. Can I spell it? Of course not. Right. Um, yep, yeah, that's intersect. What we'll do now is the last one in shape mode, which is exclude. To do, to do B, select all that, I get the properties from that. Right. What this one does is takes away the intersect and leaves you with these. Let's try this. What am I doing over there? Um, or does it? 
Yeah, it gets rid of the intersect and leaves you these each. Yes, yes it does. As you can see, I just pulled it apart and it's two separate shapes for where the intersect was. So, name this one. Exclude. Don't like how my fonts are a different size, but I'm gonna have to live with it anyway. So that's for shape modes. All very handy as you can see. Right, so next we're going to Pathfinders. This is all to do with splitting up paths and you know, it's all also in the name. Right. Right, the first one is divide. This one here. What we'll do already on the shape tool. Do our usual thing. Should probably just change it up there to the default, but I'm not going to. Anyway, so divide. Select these, see what it does. As you can see, what it's done is it split up everything. So I can pull it apart and everything will be left. Pretty nifty. Right. Divide. Right, so the next one. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. It makes sense. So cut our squares. What we're gonna do is the next one which is trim. It's kinda like divide, but with a difference, I'll show you. As you can see change everything to paths. And it's taken. And it's just cut where the shape of this was. So if this was on top, I would have done I would have cut here. So you get you get the idea. It's, oh. Get over there. By double clicking I get out the group. Um yeah so I'll just give this a stroke so you can see what it does. So that one's called trim prime? Definitely not trim. Anyway, um, this one, the next one is merge. If I remember correctly, it's a wee bit like unite, but I'm not sure. So go to our select tool. Do this. I have to change that back again. Anyway, anyway, get lost. Um. Do, do, do merge yes yeah it's like unite but as you can see it converts everything to paths so that's merge but I shall give it a stroke so you can see what happens merge that boy there merge next is crop which is this boy here. Um right, what we'll do is shift O to extend our artboard. Press V to bring up our selection tool. Right, so now we've got a bit more space to work with. I'm gonna do this, make this white black. So we've done merge and the next one would be crop. Might have Go to the toolbar anyway. Um, crop, crop, crop. That's not crop. This is crop. Right. So crop. As you can see, convert everything to paths. No, no stroke. And what is done is that's something a wee bit strange. So it's taking away the image from behind, and left us with the intersect and part of the image in front and cut it up. That is what crop does. To be honest, I don't think I've ever needed to use crop. But we'll give it a stroke so you can see what happens. 